buckle up for safety motherfucker. Today is going to be a really funny video. No wait, I don't mean. Today is going to be a comedy. No, it's not. Today. Just keep watching, you'll find out what happens. Hello, hello, what up? It's John, your movie madman, and I'm back. Um, that was my niece laughing in there. Some people say she sounds like a notter. I feel very sorry for her, actually. She's about to go to college, and I've just looped her laugh and put it online. So, sorry, Emily. I'm going to talk about some laugh out loud films today. Uh, it's quite funny, actually, because one of the films I'm going to talk about is a film I saw on YouTube. And I haven't got a physical copy to show you of that, but I'll explain that later. And the other film is a film that is made by people from YouTube, and I have got a physical copy of that. So we're going to start with that beauty, which is this. Laser Team. Laser Team. It's a funny film. This is the director's cut as well. Probably can't, can't really talk about the extended scenes because I don't want to get in trouble with my sister um, but I'll tell you what though so those of you that don't know much about Laser Team it's made by these people called Rooster Teeth who they do these videos on YouTube called Red vs Blue I'm not really sure what they're about because I've never seen them I was suggested this by some guy at work told me that these guys have made a film and it was going to be in the cinema and it was going to be really funny and I thought it sounded like it was going to be really funny so I watched it in the cinema and it, it made me laugh out loud which was awkward because I was by myself don't watch comedies on your own in the cinema it's just weird it's just weird because you sit there and you laugh and there's no one to laugh with you it's just awkward um, so basically they've all got these it's got boots, a shield, a gun and a helmet it's all meant to be one suit uh, and they're going to use it to fight upcoming aliens and other aliens have warned the world about the upcoming aliens so there's two two types of aliens get your head around that they send this suit down to earth and these four guys end up putting it on instead of this one selected person that's been chosen uh, and they're all a bit stupid so then they've all got to work out how to use this suit to then fight the upcoming aliens does that make sense probably not Watch it, watch it and you'll find out. Don't mean it, I mean Laser Team. Watch it as well, but it won't be about Laser Team, so don't get those two confused. I will do that video for it one day. I will, alright, I promise. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it. It made me laugh a lot. <laughs> it really did. I laughed out loud. I didn't roll on the floor laughing and my ass didn't fall off but I definitely laughed out loud um, so yeah it's very low budget because obviously it's made by people from YouTube um, so it's quite a low budget movie so it has got the odd dodgy shot of CGI but don't hold that against it alright it doesn't matter because it's all in tone with the film so if you like laughing, it's a good one to go for. Uh, the other one, interestingly, this is the other one. It's not The Invisible Man, because that's not a comedy, is it? So, uh, the other video, uh, I say video because it was a video. I looked everywhere to get this. You can't buy it on DVD, you can't buy it on Blu-ray, you can't even buy it on VHS. There's no digital versions on Google Play or Prime Video, it's not on Netflix. So it was very difficult. And then I found it on YouTube, which was good. I just typed it into YouTube and the full film was on there. So I was all over it. All over it I was. And that is Edgar Wright's first film, which is called A Fistful of Fingers. Which isn't as isn't as dodgy as it sounds. I hear a lot of you laughing there saying hey, that sounds like a porn film it's not all right it's a comedy it's a comedy spoof it's a western comedy spoof although spoof and comedy kind of come under the same category but 
that's another video as well coming up so look out for that comedy versus spoof and the difference this is more of a spoof it's a western spoof uh, about a man whose horse dies his horse gets killed by another cowboy and he goes on like a little hunt for him the film's only like an hour and 17 minutes long but I loved it I really did I went into it thinking I have no idea what this film's going to be like I was a little bit a little bit concerned but because it was only an hour and 17 minutes long and it's pretty low budget but that doesn't matter it doesn't matter because the low budget side of it helped with the comedy side of the film I think I think because the film was so low budget they just took the piss out of what they had like the horses that they ride are not real horses and they're really obviously not real horses which just made it funny it's a bit like if you see uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail when they bang coconuts together because they couldn't afford horses that's true allegedly they couldn't afford the horses so they just banged coconuts together instead uh, they obviously didn't do that for fistful of fingers but when you watch it you'll see what they do do for horses <laughs> do do I'm a big Edgar Wright fan anyway as you probably know because you've seen my Shaun of the Dead collection Scott Pilgrim vs the World is out in 4k on the 5th of July and obviously I've got Baby Driver as well um, but I mean all in all I thought Fistful of Fingers was a lot of fun literally recognised no one from the film I think they're all quite old British actors I mean it was made in like 1995 the only name in it I recognised was Edgar Wright um, but yeah I mean for a first effort I thought it was brilliant it's so funny <laughs> it's really stupid and there are a couple of moments where I thought oh this has gone a bit too far with the stupid but all in all it was brilliant good thumbs up from me I thought it was really funny and I watched it I watched it late at night as well so I had to keep hiding hiding my laugh because people were in bed where I live and probably not where I live as well I watched it quite late so quite a few people were probably in bed so I had to laugh quietly which is difficult when you're watching something for the first time and I was on my own as well so I'm hoping that when it gets to my birthday I'll be able to show it to some of my friends because I use my birthday as an excuse I will I'll be like look it's my birthday we're watching what I want to watch so I'll put that foot down bang that was my hand, not my foot, but you know what I mean, alright, enough of your lip, don't need that. So, a bit of a shorter video today, but I didn't unbox anything for you, so you're probably quite happy about that, aren't you? Rude. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm going to go now, because otherwise I'll just end up repeating myself and rambling on about a load of bollocks. So, if you could like this video, and subscribe to my channel. Don't subscribe to other YouTube channels, subscribe to mine, and I'll be back in my next video, obviously, so you'll see me again soon, if you, if you click on it, that is, if you don't click on it, you probably won't see me again soon, but do click on it, because it'll probably be better than this one. <laughs>